Hi guys, let me explain why we have already played the first DLC. Let's go to the access point, why Mas Vag. You do his quest, let him cut your finger, and he will reward you the pure blood nice medal. It will teleport you to the DLC area, Mokgun's palace. This place has the highest difficulty enemies in game because it was originally designed as DLC content. Players shouldn't come here this early but to come here after they have finished main game. However, this is only part 1 of the DLC. Before we get into part 2, I want to talk about one of the most famous Souls game mechanic. The Fort Gate. Souls games have these fort gates since Demon's Soul, Dark Soul 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. Out of hundreds of fort gates over the past 13 years, each of them were carefully located. None of them, none would lead you to a dead end with nothing. But there is a place like that in Elden Ring. When you find Mog, there are two gates at the back. They will open up once you've killed him. Behind the gate is just an empty area and that end. And look around you, doesn't this setup remind you of somewhere else? After Morg is dead, you somehow unlocked the pathway to Mikula's old home. Hell Tree. This area's enemy difficulty is the highest in Elden Ring, just like all other Souls DLC. Hell Tree is complex and well designed. It is somewhat even better than the main game. The final boss of this DLC was Melania. And of course, it's going to be hard, just like often, of course, to Bloodborne, Sister Feeder to Dark Souls 3, and Gale to the DLC 2, the hardest humanoid boss of the game. The last area I want to talk about is the Consecrated Snowfield. The whole place feels rushed. It is just a huge flat area filled with reused enemies. A small town that links you to the Hell Tree. When FromSoft decided to make the game bigger before release, Mo Guan's palace and the Hell Tree were almost done. So they quickly filled the whole snowfield area with reused assets and then release it. Things would become more clear when you look at the world map. On your first playthrough, you will find the game's progression very confusing. They let you teleport to Mo at around level 30. Also, many people thought they have finished the game after killing the Elden Beast. Are we supposed to kill Melania first? Now, if we cut out the DLC content, we can see the complete game progression very clearly. First, you go kill Godric. Then, pick your bosses from Leonia, Caleb, or the Volcano Manor. Then, go kill Morgoth and the Fire Giant. Go to Cumbling Farum Asula, back to Ash Capital and kill the Elden Beast. That's the full game. The rest of the game were a full attached DLC package. It does not have any effect to the main game at all. Wow. So what does this mean to us? Well, when FromSoft released Elden Ring, they did not prepare any DLC story content. We will have to wait for longer this time. 
The most likely DLC would be the PvP arena which is already in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share or like and have a good day. Thank you.